question number two. There are three different possible isomers of a dibromoethene molecule C2H2Br2. One of them has no net dipole moment, but the other two do. Draw Lewis structures for each of these isomers include hydrogen atoms. Okay, so this is question number two. And then we're looking at all the different isomers of C2H2. Br2, and then they separated it from nonpolar and polar. So I'm just going to write the definition of nonpolar. There is no dipole moment present in the molecule. And then for polar, there's a non-zero dipole moment. Okay, so for C2H2Br2, I'm going to write down the molecule for the nonpolar uh, isomer. So this contains a double bond, and it contains two bromines and two hydrogens. But in order to not have a dipole moment, I'm going to make sure I write my bromine on the opposite end of the other bromine, and I'm going to make sure my hydrogens are also on the opposite ends. So you'll notice that these dipole moments cancel each other out. Let me write it in a different color. So bromine is an electronegative molecule. But you'll see that these cancel each other out, so therefore we have no dipole moment. And then the name of this compound is trans-1,2-dibromoethene. Okay, so ene comes from the double bond, and then dibromo means that there's two bromines, and then the 1, 2 shows which carbons contain the bromines, and then trans means that they are on opposite ends. So now I'm going to draw out the cis version of this molecule. So we're going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to put our hydrogens on the same side, and now I'm going to put our bromines on the same side as well. And you'll notice that there is a non-zero dipole moment in the direction of the bromines. So they aren't canceling each other out or anything because they are on the same side. And then the name for this is easy. It's just the same as the other, except it is cis. So it's cis 1, 2, dibromo, ethene. Okay, so I'm going to draw the last uh, molecule that is also polar. Also contains a double bond. But this time, looks like this, where the bromines are actually on the same carbon. So this is 1,1-dibromoethene.
And you'll notice it also has a non-zero dipole moment going in the direction of the bromines. Okay, so let me write down some definitions here. So cis and trans are the stereoisomers. So basically they have the same uh, molecular formula. But they differ in orientation of the atoms. Okay, so I'm also going to write down the definition for a structural or constitutional uh, isomer. This is when the molecular formula is the same. But they have different atom arrangements. Okay, hey, so let's look at the answer of our junior tutor. Hmm. Looks like they wrote... Okay. So they just put their 1,1-dipromoethene on the nonpolar side, but it should be switched with the trans. So I'm just going to correct that. But all of the structures are correct. Okay, so let me write this down. Okay, so I said that their structures are correct, but the trans 1 to dibromoethene is nonpolar. And then I said the cis 1 to dibromoethene and 1 1 dibromoethene are polar. Okay, so now I will move on.